Today I'm going to show you how to make an automatic wool farm in Minecraft 1.19. But if you enjoy this type of content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all of you who do because it helps the channel grow and it helps me want to make content. So thanks in advance. This farm can produce every color in the game, which would be a total of 16. And as you can see here, all the colors are actually quite nice and you get quite a variety. Granted, it could be a lot more, but we have 16. And with these 16 colors, you could do a lot of cool things. For example, the banner. You can do some really cool patterns and create what looks like the warden. Like, I absolutely love this. You can also make beds and just jump on them. Cause let's be honest, who, who sleeps? Who does that? You can make some stylish carpet to go with your new red floors. You could even make them into paintings and put them on the wall so people can see. And if I'm not mistaken, the best part of do is, is there really nothing behind that? Huh. And thanks to the brand new update, we have this dude, which literally tracks every single sound I make. But thankfully, due to the wool block, we can hide. Oh, that's got another achievement. Oh, God. No, please no. But we cannot forget the actual best part of having wool. And that is being able to play guitar sounds. But now it's time to show you guys how to actually make this farm so you can get all the colors and all the wool that you could ever dream of. So without further ado, and they're gone. <laughs> All right, so essentially I cleared out my area to show you guys exactly how we're going to build this. Now, it really does matter on how many you want to make. You can start off with one color. You can start off with all 16. Now, I made a chest here with all the materials you'll need for all 16, but this is kind of rough because it depends on how exactly you build it. Now, the setup for each one is exactly the same, but if you want to group them and to go to a specific chest like I am, then that's why you have more hoppers than normal. The rest is kind of just straightforward, the redstone can vary, but the hoppers is where, like, the count isn't exact. Like, you only need, like, I think three or two for this. Uh, I think you need three, but uh, for me, I need a lot more because I group my colors together when they go to my storage system. As you can see down there, this one has three, this one I have three, I think this one down here has four, that one has four. It's a, it's a little complicated when you start grouping stuff. But quickly explain, the, the grass is for the sheep to eat because essentially for them to get their wool back, they need to eat grass. The redstone here is mainly for a transportation system. The observer is what kind of triggers the observer to clip the sheep to get the wool. Now the hopper mine carts are actually very important because that's how we're going to collect the wool once it gets sheared automatically. Now these blocks down here are just for decoration purpose. You can use whatever you want and the colored wool as well. I only use the colors so I can see the sheep's color because when they're sheared, they're just naked sheep and you have no idea what color they are. And last but not is the wheat. As you can hear, I have sheep that are <laughs> technically actually in the ceiling because I have extra sheep and these sheep are what's going to be the new ones. <laughs> um, yes, I did actually murder the other sheep, uh, they, honestly. Couldn't tell you why I did it. I was hungry. But without further ado, we're gonna get started making this. So the first thing I like to do is put in my grass blocks. And yes, they need to be grass blocks. They cannot be dirt. You could use one grass block to do this, but you're gonna have to wait for it all to grow. Now I'm gonna place my grass block right here. This is essentially where the sheep are going to stand. So you could put it lower, you could put it higher, wherever you'd like. But for me, this height is nice. I can look right at the sheep, they can look at me. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side because that's just what we're gonna to have to do. Now the next step should be pretty simple. We're gonna actually create the shearing system so we can get this stuff automatically. So we're gonna place a filler block here. We're gonna break that in a moment, but we need to use it to place the dispenser. And we're gonna to have to do this for every other block, just like this. And we're going to keep going all the way down till we have eight on one side. I just messed that up. So the reason we keep them spaced out is because when the grass grows, it needs to be adjacent to the block. When this one gets eaten by the sheep, this grass block and this grass block will have a chance to spread and refill this block. But if you have them all connected, the sheep can eat all the grass and kind of ruin the whole process and make it a little less efficient. Now the observers are extremely important as we're going to have them face the grass blocks. 
we're going to place one block directly behind them and place redstone right on top. So what's happening here is that the observer looks for states of changes in blocks. So for example, this grass block, once it's eaten by the sheep, will turn to a dirt block. That being said, the observer will know that happened, send a signal to this block, powering this redstone, sending a signal to this dispenser, which will have shears in it, and shear the sheep. And you just repeat this design on the other side as well. After we've created the shearing system, now we need to create the collection system. Now this part's extremely important because we need to be able to get the wool blocks once they get sheared off the sheep. We're obviously not going to go run in there, say hello to the sheep and pick it up. So a very fast way of doing this is by creating Minecraft hoppers. So all we have to do is place a hopper facing downward. And to do that, we need to place temporary blocks right here. Place our hopper right on top of this so it's facing down. Use our rail. Click this block and it should automatically put it right on top. Oh yeah, just like that. And then we're going to use our Minecraft hopper and put it right up here. Did I just say Minecraft Hopper? I meant Minecart Hopper. My gosh! But it should look just like this, and that is exactly what we want to do for all the other ones. Now, if you're trying to link them all together so they can all shoot out into one singular chest, and have your hoppers look like this, and just go all the way around and dispense out of one thing into your chest. But, in my scenario, I, I, I set it up a little differently. For me, I'm going to set it up just like this because the first four colors I have are all going to be in one dispenser. So I'm going to connect it just like this into that guy there. Place the other rails, place our mine cards. I like to place blocks in between. I always feel like they're just going to fall off. So that's just how I do things. Now that I have all my hoppers set up to collect the wool once it's sheared, all I need to do is set up my transportation system. And as you can tell, I'm using waterways to get it all the way to my system over there, which is just a lot easier for me. I don't have to do any redstone. It's just water and ice. But this guy here, if you watched my last video, it's pretty much the same exact thing. So to get things started, I'm going to place an observer facing this way. This way. <laughs> From here, I'm going to place a block right in front of this hopper. I'm going to place a comparator facing out of it so we can read a block once it passes through. Place a block in front of that. Place some redstone. Place another block. Place a repeater. And then some redstone right in front of that. And that's the exact setup. But essentially what's happening here is that when an item passes through into this dispenser, this block, it gets read by the comparator that a signal is sent right through every time one item or a couple pass by, like for example, eight of them, it'll read the signal, it'll pass through this corner and continue to this observer, which will then just see the light turning on and off and dispense our items. But overall, it's a very, very small setup. And it's extremely easy to tile this. So you can put all eight together, you put all 16 in one row. I like to do them side by side because it is very even, eight and eight. The next step we need to do is just get the sheep in here and place shears inside our dispenser. But before I do that, I need to be sure that we close off these areas so the sheep won't fall down and, you know, just straight up escape. So I want to use some cosmetic blocks just to, you know, spruce this place up a bit. And like I said before, I, lo I love using the colored blocks. It kind of just makes things look a little cooler because then when you can make a little rainbow going on and plus it helps you know exactly what color sheep you're working on. And once we got all the colors inside, it is now time to place our glass. Now the reason I'm placing glass is because it can be a mess if you use fences or anything else. As you can tell, I tried using fences at one point and then once they got sheared, the blocks can land like on this block with the fence and they just won't be picked up. The other reason we want to place glass is because it's on top of a grass block. Now, the reason for that is when the sheep eats this and turns it into dirt, we need two grass blocks or even one grass block on the side, but it has to be adjacent to this one so the grass can grow over and replenish this dirt block. And if it can't do that, then you kind of lose the whole process of the automation and the sheep will never get its wool back. 
We're gonna leave the fronts open for now. Um, I'm gonna put blocks here so it goes out double. This is just for decoration, this part here. But I'm gonna leave these open because we do have to get the sheep inside and give them their colors and essentially just lock them away forever. Honestly, I just hate this part. This part is so extremely frustrating. Come on, guys. Let's go. Are you guys, uh, you coming? Hello? And just one, just one of you? Just one of you. Yes, ah, yes. Wow, that worked so much better than I thought it would. All right, come on, guy, we got this. You know what, since you're a white sheep, and so are your brothers, I'm gonna give you the privilege of being the white wool sheep. How do you feel? That's exactly what I thought. All right, buddy. I'm gonna have to push your little butt in there, though. Let's go. Go. Up. Come on. One more. Come on. There we go. Get in there. Pop. No! No! Sheep! Sheep! Ah! Oh, I got him. Holy crap. I just had to spam click that like crazy. <sighs> now just 15 more. <laughs> oh, God. All right. And that was the final sheep put in his spot. Woof. All right, uh, so now that we have all 16 in place, the last thing we gotta do is color these guys. So I left a block open here so I could just, you know, reach in, just give them the color that they belong. So the last thing that I do is put the shears in. And the reason I don't put them in earlier is because we created that whole collection system down below and I don't want items just shooting out while they're um, white wool. It's easier to do it when they're colored. We can climb our little handy dandy ladder here so we can get up to access to this row and you can just access it right from behind. So you only have to put in one shear, you don't have to put in a lot. But after we put all that in, we get to watch the magic happen. I don't know which sheep it'll be first, but we get to wait until one of them loses their wool. Oh, you saw that? The light blue? There it goes. Oh, it was so fast. It was so fast. Damn. All right, well, essentially, all the sheep needs to do now, so the shear works. It sheared him automatically, but he just needs to eat that grass to get his wool back. And as soon as he eats it, his wool grow. Oh, there goes the blue. There it goes. Yay. Who, who else? Yellow. There goes yellow. It starts going really quick after a while. Like, you can fill some chests real fast. But once these guys eat the grass, it'll instantly shear them. So the only downside to these farms is that they just look naked all the time and I feel so bad. Oh, there goes pink. Should be right up here. The magenta. There it goes. And just to show you guys what my collection system looks like, it's right here. So I like to fill the chests like this where it'll just pop populate all the colors I want. Like so. But I've been doing this for a while. I've had this thing up for a while and it's uh <laughs> clearly worked quite well. So to do a quick overview of exactly how this works, that was perfect timing. But as you just saw, the sheep eats the grass, grows the wool, and the dispenser behind will shear the sheep. But it can only do that because of the observer behind this grass block. That observer notices when the grass block is eaten and turns into a dirt block, which then triggers the shear. But once that wool falls down on the grass block, we have these minecart hoppers to pick up that wool. Otherwise, it would just sit there and disappear. It gets picked up by this minecart hopper, placed into this hopper, goes all the way over into our other dispenser, which then has some redstone to trigger it and shoot it all the way to our storage. And it's that same exact thing for every single color. So in reality, you could do a hundred sheeps of one color and still do this same exact process and get tons of that one color. So yeah, that's how you can make an automatic wool farm in Minecraft 1.19. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate all of you who do. Thanks to all of you who watched the last video and subscribed. You all mean so much to me. And make sure to comment below what you want to see next. I, I like to make these farms. I have quite a few. I have even... A very interesting cow farm over there. Yeah, I'm not even going to begin to explain what it does.